Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic Strength Training Routine. Now don't forget to track this workout in your app under WW Clinic Chair-Based Exercises. Now let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training plan. I am joined by my co-host Scout today. So what we're going to need today for this chair-based training routine is just a pair of dumbbells and then a comfortable uh, chair to sit down on. Sometimes it might be beneficial for these routines. You also have some pillows. You can put that down to help you control your range of motion throughout all of these exercises. Now, just as a reminder, everything here should be done within your own comfort and control. Comfort meaning it's not causing pain and control is just ranges of motion that we feel in control of. So what I'll be doing is I'll demonstrate the first exercise. We'll go through it for all of the repetitions. First round is gonna be more explanations. Then we'll get into second and third round, which is going to be optional. So the first exercise is going to be a standing lateral leg raise. And so for this exercise, I actually would, if you have the ability to put your hand on your chair, I would go for that. But we're just kicking our leg out to the side like this. It's gonna work this part of our glutes. We're gonna go 10 on each side. Here we go. And you can actually pin your leg against the chair too if that helps for balance too. So going out within our comfort and control. One, two, three. Looks like you found a better spot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Trying to keep my toe pointing forward. 10, and we're gonna go on over to the other side. And here we go, 10. One, two, again, it's probably beneficial to keep your hand on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and last one ten excellent hey so we are going to move on to it's called the dumbbell romanian deadlift so for this exercise what we're going to do is hold the weight but of course you can do this with your own body weight as well it's not necessary to hold on to a weight and we're going to push our hips back keep our back nice and straight and then squeeze our butt at the top it's a very knee friendly exercise. It's gonna work our glutes and our hamstrings as well as our back. I'm just gonna hold the weight right here. The cue is make sure you keep it tight to your body. Here we go. One, squeeze your butt at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. Hey, we're gonna be seated for the next four exercises. So go ahead and take a seat. What we're gonna do next is going to be arm circles. So use a light weight for this. We're gonna put our arms up like this and we're gonna make circles. We're gonna go 10 forwards and then 10 backwards, okay? Um, so I definitely recommend a lighter weight on this. This is going to burn. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You got the next set, right, bud? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, if you gotta shake it out for a second, and then let's go ten in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. So what we're gonna do now is an overhead tricep extension. So I'm just gonna hold one weight, okay? And we're gonna go over our head and we're going to do extensions just like this, okay? So let's do 10 of these together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, great work. That was the overhead tricep extension. Work on our triceps or the back of our arms. We have two more exercises left. It's going to be an overhead press. So in this case, we're gonna hold our weights right here. If you have multiple weights, you can probably go a little bit heavier on the overhead press than you would be able to uh, on that tricep extension. So for here, we're just pressing straight up in the air. So here we go. And if you have any kind of shoulder pain, instead of pressing straight up, go the lighter weight and press out like that. So if you're struggling with the range of motion, go ahead and press out. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep our elbows in. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work. Our one exercise away from completing the first round. After you've completed this first round, it's entirely up to you if you want to do a second or a third round. Last exercise is the hammer curl. So our palms are just facing each other. Probably gonna go a little bit lighter than the overhead press for this one. And we're just curling right up just like this. So working our biceps. So here we go. Just bending right at our elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to standing. We're going to do that standing lateral leg raise. You will get a 30 second break in between each exercise. So let's get into that standing lateral leg raise. And here we go. We're going to go 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. And then let's go on over to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. Take your 30 second break and we will be back here for the Romanian deadlifts. All right, let's get into those Romanian deadlifts. Here we go. We're gonna go 10 reps and one, two, three, four, five, keeping our back nice and straight, squeezing our butt at the top. Again, within your comfort and control, if your hamstrings are a little bit tight, and that's as low as you can go comfortably. That's the range of motion that we will work with. Nine. And 10, all right. Let's take your 30 second break. We're gonna be back on the chair. We'll see you in a second. Okay, let's bring it on down to the chair. Oh, hello. And we are doing our arm circles. So working our shoulders, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, watch yourself. 10 in the other direction. One, two, three, 
two. I know you don't want to get bonked. Three, four, or did you want to do it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Name a better co-host. All right, take your 30 seconds, everyone, and we'll be back here for that overhead tricep extension. Welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and get into that overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna hold our one weight right here, press up over our head. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, awesome work. Take your 30 second break. You just keep moving on over to other sides, don't you? 30 second break, we'll be back here for the overhead press. All right, let's grab our weight, get into that overhead press. Let me show you from this side, a little bit of an angle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well done. 30 second break, almost done with round two. See you back here soon. Let's grab our weights for our hammer curls. Last one in round two. So I've heard, I've heard quite a few people say they enjoy these routines, especially if they, they work from home because they can actually be in their chair working and they can get in some extra physical activity and like in 10 or even seven minute blocks and they might break this up throughout the course of the day. And I think we're gonna call that 10. Awesome job. Hey, you have completed your second round, right, Sleepy? Second round, we're gonna go right into our third round and we're almost there. So back to those standing lateral leg raises. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Let's switch on over to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. You get a 30 second break. We're gonna be back here for Romanian deadlifts. All right, let's grab our weight. 
and we're going to do our Romanian deadlifts. Here we go, ready. One, remember, within your comfort and control, this one, technique-wise, is probably the most challenging, I'd say. Again, great one to get your knees stronger, glutes stronger, stronger hamstrings, stronger glutes means stronger knees. So it's okay if you take this slow and if you practice this. Again, really great one to get down. Nine and 10. Go ahead. Take your 30 seconds and we're back on the chair for the last four exercises. Let's take it down to the chair and we're doing our arm circles, 10 in each direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And the key here is for all of these exercises, wherever you're at right now, try to progressively go heavier and their direction. And that doesn't mean, you know, next week, it just means if you're using, you know, one pound weights for this right now, hopefully in two, three months, you're using, you're using two or three pounds. So it's a, just a little bit, a little bit of discomfort, but that is, that is how we get stronger. All right, that was, I think, 10. What do you think? You think we hit about 10 on there? Take your 30 second break. We're gonna be back here for our last round of overhead tricep extensions. <laughs> Let's get into those overhead tricep extensions. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work, 30 second break. Two more exercises left. See you back here soon. Welcome back. We're gonna get into that overhead press. Weights right here, here we go. One, two, working our shoulders and triceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, hey, we're almost done with this first routine. Go ahead, take your 30 seconds, and last set of hammer curls. Let's get into those hammer curls. You're doing great. Almost done so far today. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you did it. Awesome work. Give yourself a pat on the back. Way to show up. I hope to see you back here for the next one. Little tip. 
whenever you're gonna come back to do this routine, or any of our routines, put it in your calendar, set a reminder, treat it just like it's an appointment, and I will see you then. Have a great day.